So let's look at the first uh, of, of these uh, mini exercises related to the introduction to ROS uh, presentation. Um, the mini exercise starts here um, in our existing uh, ROS workspace, which we have set up following the guide um, that was uh, posted on on the on the course site. So inside this directory, we have a, a source folder, and inside the source directory, we have a beginner tutorials, and inside that, we have um, we have an entire Rust package, uh, including uh, the cmakelists.txt and package XML files that specifies that it is a package with a certain name. Uh, and that also makes it possible for us to run um, scripts or Python programs from within uh, this uh, package afterwards. So uh, first of all, let's try to build it and see how it uh, goes. So that's uh, the catkin uh, build command we, we want to issue. And I get a lot of uh, errors here. Um, it seems like some of the setup things uh, went wrong. There's a, a warning here, and now I remember what uh, what I forgot to do. Uh, I need to source the uh, ROS files melodic uh, like this, and then I hope that the build will uh, go uh, much better. It seems much better, uh, at least until now. Okay, good. So now that's in place. We have successfully uh, built uh, two packages. Uh, the catkin tools that is hidden somewhere in the tool chain and the beginner tutorials which was installed as part or created as part of the um, installation instructions for, for Rust. So let's see uh, where this uh, exercise takes us. And the first thing we are requested to do is to create this uh, Python directory inside the, the Python tutorials and then enter that uh, directory. So we can say make dear and then source uh, beginner and Python here. Then we have a, a nice location for uh, our files or Python scripts that we will be using here. Then we enter the directory and Finally, we need to uh, download uh, this file. So we can say read it and then insert uh, the address for the file. Right now, we will not be able to, to run the file because it's not set as being executable. So we can say ls or ls or all to see what permission it has. And it doesn't have an, an x here, so it's not able to, to execute this. We can change that by stating chmod plus x and then the file name for listener here. And then um, we are allowed to, to run this as a program. And to complete this, we should go into our Rust workspace and then issue the catkin build command. So move up a few directories and then we can say catkin uh, build and we are finished and to test that it actually works we should be able to say ros run and then uh, uh, one thing to do first source and then uh, the setup file from the devel directory and then let's try to say ros run then the beginner tutorials and we have this uh, listener a node here and it should be running here but it issues a warning um, that is unable to register with a master node which is because we haven't started a, a ROS core up uh, at this uh, time So let's uh, start a Rust core. And before I start that, I, I source the uh, devel uh, setup scripts. So let's see if it works better now. Now it seems to be uh, running uh, here. And we end the, 
the demonstration here.